Hello, in this video I want to show you the beauty of uh, nature that's very present in Sweden and in Scandinavia. So right now I'm in the second biggest city in Sweden, Gothenburg. Where are the people? Where's everything? This is a natural reserve in the middle of the city. Not in the middle, in the center, but it's very close to it. And this is beside the parks. And this city has many parks. Uh, you see the Swedish cities are sort of vast, spread out, compared to the co continental cities in Europe, which are more dense. So, in, in Sweden, in whatever city or town you live in, you always have the nature present. And what's beautiful here in the forest paths that you have in these um, natural places in the towns is that always on the hills there are like ancient graves, uh, stone tumbles. Uh, Stenrasse and it sort of gives a, a chronology to this to these places and a presence that this is something where people have been investing time in you see uh, they have uh, been living here and doing something we're gonna go up that hill and sort of reach the Sun and see where ancient people used to bury their dead And what I find interesting is the selection of the places, you know, high up with a great overview. Back in days it must have been really beautiful with the ocean level higher up and more trees and all that. So there's the main river that crosses uh, through Gothenburg. This is the natural reserve. And uh, behind there is the botanical gardens. And if you walk further, you go to the city. This is the burial ground, as you can see. Uh, there are many stones here. But imagine that here somewhere, sometime in the past, ancient people of Sweden had death ceremonies. That over there is called the uh, Vestra Frölunda. It's part of the city, but it's not the center. The center is like behind there. I guess it's okay to stand on this grave, grave site. Bird's nest. The thing is that um, society has changed, of course, but only some hundred years ago, for example, if you were a man and you became old, uh, you became an elder, you became a chief of the village or family or something. Um, perhaps you sort of taught the young uh, children or um, uh, apprentices about some skill you knew maybe you were a wise woman or a man who people came to today those things do not exist and um, in Sweden uh, the loneliness is very high among old people uh, the families are very much sort of uh, broken up so you have people sitting sitting in those elderly homes eating uh, crap food because the public uh, homes are like losing money and uh, personnel and you know today all the money goes to this sort of uh, migration crisis and uh, all these crazy things um, so they, they are like left to their own nobody like wants their wisdom or knowledge and perhaps because they don't have any because if you have lived your life and just worked you see in a place doing something um, um, you see, nobody is going to come to you and ask you like, Oh, how was your office? How did you like put your chair? How did you do this or that? So when you get old, um, if you didn't have a certain hobby or something that sort of defined you in this country, in this region, maybe in other places in Europe and in the world, 
uh, you're of no need to anyone. Nobody is going to ask you like, oh, how did you do your work? What did you do there? Unless you did something special or you have some hobby. And that wasn't the case back in these days. People had more dignity. You see, they did things, they were important, and when they, when they became old, uh, they became um, guide, guides for the younger generations with their skill, their wisdom and experience. And that's what you need sort of to have in your life. There's also um, a legend about uh, cliffs over at the other uh, side of the city, um, on the other side of the river, where um, old people back in the days, they used to throw themselves off the cliff because they were becoming like sick and old and uh, a burden to the tribe, the community the village um, that's unnecessary uh, today but what we can learn from them is that um, to cultivate some sort of uh, wisdom um, passion meaning and um, skill in our life and also to cultivate a good family relation especially with your you know intimate family your uh, wife kids and brothers and sisters and so on I'm heading down to continue my run and uh, I wanted to show you this curiosity in the second biggest city in Sweden that has a natural reserve and good walking paths good place for kids adults and everyone to go out and have a break and also that there are historical curiosities and if you put them in the perspective as I said there's a, like a, a chronology in this place and you can relate that to the city out there by the way did I mention that they have uh, sheep here in the summertime 